Hello students, how are you? Hope you all are healthy and safe at your home. I am Shweta Jain representing Shiv Jyoti Educational Group, Kota. So students, today we will study science. We will do the revision of chapter 3, clothes and chapter 5, safety first. The PDF for this chapter along with the explanation video, book work and copy work has already been shared to you. I hope you all have gone through the explanation video and completed your copy work and book work. So today we will do the revision of this chapter. So let's start with the revision of chapter 3, clothes. So all of you open your books, page number 23, chapter 3, clothes. And students keep your pencils ready because we are going to mark internal questions also. So all of you open your books. So now let's start with the chapter. So students, let's come to clothes. Food, housing and clothing. These are the three basic needs to live. Okay. And we wear clothes to protect our body. We wear different types of clothes in different seasons. Like if we talk about summer season, then we wear light colored cotton clothes these type of clothes keep us cool in summers if we talk about winter season then we prefer to wear dark colored woolen clothes as these type of clothes keep us warm in winters and whenever there is rain then we use raincoat umbrellas and gum boots these all protect us or prevent us from getting wet when it rains so these are some of the different clothes we wear in different seasons now not only this clothes also make us look smart and they also protect us from insect bites now students we uh, the different types of clothes are worn at different places like when you go to school you wear school uniform during night you wear night dress and on festivals we wear special clothes okay when we are going to party again we wear our special clothes so these are some of the different types of clothes not only this uh, people of different professions also used to wear different types of uniforms like doctors they wear white apron uh, lawyers they wear black coat so there are different uniforms for different professions as well as the people living in different regions they also wear different types of clothes okay so this was about the different types of clothes now how uh, these clothes are made what uh, of what things these clothes are made so clothes are made up of thin threads okay thin threads which are called as fibers you can see over here fibers which are used for making clothes so these are the thin threads which are called as fibers now there are two different types of fibers these are natural fibers and the second category is synthetic fibers okay now as the name suggests natural so natural fibers are those fibers which are obtained naturally means they are obtained either from the plants or from the animals some of the examples are cotton it is obtained from cotton plant then jute it is obtained from jute plant then there is linen which is obtained from flax plant then there is silk which is obtained from silkworm and wool which is obtained from sheep so these all are the natural fibers some we get from plants and some we get from animals okay now we move to the next category that is synthetic fibers now these synthetic fibers are the fibers which are made by man these are also called as man-made fibers now some of the examples of man-made fibers are 
polyester nylon rayon and lycra so these are some of the examples of synthetic fibers students synthetic fibers are durable means they are long lasting then they are stretchable they are wrinkle free means uh, there is no need to iron them again and again and they are uh, waterproof means they dry very easily they dry very fastly so these are some of the properties of synthetic fibers now students this was about the fibers and the fabrics now it is also very important to take care of the clothes so we should take good care of clothes because good care of clothes make them last longer and how we can take good care of clothes by uh, following some things like we should wash them regularly then we should uh, dry them in the sun then we should iron them keep them properly in our cupboards we, we can keep um, moat walls and neem leaves along with the clothes to protect them from insects okay so these are some of the way some uh, delicate clothes like silk and woolen clothes they are washed with soft detergents they are stored properly so these are some of the ways through which you can take good care of your clothes so this was about the explanation part of this chapter now we will mark the internal questions of this chapter so all of you open your books and get ready with your pencils so first internal question is why should we wear long sleeved clothes at night so open page number 24 of your book now answer to this question is they protect us from insect bites now it's given over here on page number 24 uh the third point okay they protect us from insect bite we should always wear full sleeves clothes at night so you underline this line they protect us from insect bites and you can write this internal question above the paragraph and you can mark the answer by underlining it okay now we move to the next internal question it is which fiber is obtained from flax plant now come to page number 25 okay now in the last paragraph of page number 25 in the third line you can underline it linen is obtained from flax plants it is given over here the third line of last paragraph of page number 25 so the answer is linen so you can write the question above the paragraph okay then third question is which fiber is obtained from cocoons of silkworm again it is given on the same page page number 25 uh, in the same last paragraph of this page you can see the last line underline this line silk is obtained from cocoons of the silkworm so this is the answer to third internal question and you can write the question below that paragraph over there okay uh, so this was about the internal questions now we come to the book work of this chapter so students let's come to the book work so first exercise is let's recall fill in the blanks with the correct words this exercise is given on page number 25 now food house and dash are our basic need you can see the answers you have some choices given over here so food house and clothing are our basic needs we wear dash clothes in winter so in winter season we prefer to wear woolen clothes dark colored woolen clothes because they keep us warm we wear dash clothes in summer here we prefer to wear cotton clothes in summer because cotton clothes keep us cool in summer clothes protect us from dash bites so they protect us from insect bites we wear special clothes on festivals okay festivals parties we wear special clothes now we move to next exercise it's on page number 27 exercise number a tick the correct answer cotton clothes keep us warm cool wet or dry so the answer here is cool because cotton clothes they absorb the sweat and they keep us cool okay you wear uniform to hospital school party or work so obviously you wear uh, uniform to school 
So school will uh, be the correct answer. Which types of clothes keep you warm in winter season? Cotton clothes, woolen clothes, raincoat, none of these. So here the answer is woolen clothes because woolen clothes keep us warm. They absorb heat. Okay. Which of the following is not a natural fiber? Cotton, silk, nylon, wool. So here cotton, silk and wool. These three are the natural fibers which are open either from plants or animals and nylon is a synthetic or man-made fiber. To protect clothes from insects, they are capped with perfume, sugar, moth balls or water. So we keep the clothes with moth balls. These are the disinfectants. They keep the insects away. Okay. So now we move to the next exercise. Write T for true and F for false statement. Now Early men covered their bodies with animal skin and leaves of the trees. Yes, this is the correct statement. We have studied this in the chapter also. So true. An umbrella protects us from getting wet in rain. Yes, again this is the correct statement. So true. Clothes protect us from insect bite. Again this is the correct statement because they protect us from insect bite. And we wear long sleeved clothes uh, just to protect ourselves from insect bites. Natural fibers are made by man? No, this is a false statement because natural fibers are obtained naturally either from plants or from animals. Synthetic fabric is not waterproof. Again, it is a false statement because synthetic fabrics are waterproof, they are stretchable, they are durable, okay, and they are wrinkle free. Now we come to the next exercise. Name the following. It's on the next page, that is page number 28. Two types of natural fibers, cotton and silk. Two things that protect us from getting wet in rain, umbrella and raincoat. Kind of clothes which keep you warm in winter, woolen clothes. Kind of clothes which keep you cool in summer, cotton clothes. Clothes you wear when you go to bed at night, so at night, we wear night dress. Okay. Let's have a look at the pictures shown here. Write the names of the professions of the people shown below. Now you can see that this man is wearing a black coat, long black coat. He is a lawyer. We have to identify them by their uniform. Then this, you can see that this man is a soldier. Then this is a policeman. He is wearing the uniform of a policeman. Then here he is a doctor. He is carrying a stethoscope and wearing a white apron, white coat. They, so he is a doctor and here this man is a pilot. Okay. So we can identify them by their uniform. Now we come to the next exercise that is write the names of fibers at the correct place. Now some fibers are given over here and now we have to choose which one is natural and which one is synthetic. So cotton obtained from cotton plants so it will come in natural fibers. Wool obtained from sheep again natural fiber. Rayon it is a man-made fiber so it will come under the category of synthetic fibers. Nylon synthetic fiber. Silk natural fiber obtained from silkworm. Linen natural fiber obtained from flax plant. Polyester man-made. Lycra man-made or synthetic. Now we come to copy work. So let's start the copy work with the definitions. So first definition is natural fibers. Fibers obtained from plants and animals. Synthetic fibers. Fibers made by man. And we have studied so many examples of these. Now we come to answer the following questions. Why do we wear clothes? We wear clothes to protect ourselves from heat, cold and rain. They make us look smart and decent. They protect us from insect bite. Then, how should we take care of our clothes? So, clothes should be washed well with a good soap. After washing, clothes should be dried in the sun and then ironed. Woolen and silk clothes should be stored properly by putting moth balls. Then what are the advantages of synthetic clothes? So answer is synthetic clothes are 
first of all durable means they are long lasting secondly wrinkle free means they need need not to be ironed again and again they do not get wrinkled very easily okay then third is, is stretchable these can be stretched to fit in different sizes okay this was all about the explanation of chapter 3 clothes now we move to the explanation of chapter 5 safety first so students now so let's start with the explanation part of this chapter so here safety safety means to be careful so whenever a person is careless or he is in hurry then what happens in such cases accidents occur now what are accident accident here is an unpleasant event that occurs unexpectedly and causes injury unpleasant event means which we don't like okay it, it is not a good thing to get an accident so it is an unpleasant event and it happens unexpectedly means suddenly it happens okay so accidents are unpleasant events that happens or occurs unexpectedly and causes injury and whenever there is accident it causes pain and injury so to avoid accidents what we should do we should follow some safety rules and these safety rules have to be followed everywhere and at every time so some of these safety rules now we will study now safety rules have to be followed everywhere and every time so we will start with the home safety at home so there are several safety safety rules that must be followed at home so what are they first of all you should not run in the house otherwise you may uh, bump into the furniture you may get injured okay secondly whenever you are in the house you should not open the door for strangers you should not take medicines of your own and if you are going into the kitchen you should not try to lit the gas stove by your own then uh, you should not touch electric switches and wires with wet hands okay these are some of the safety rules you can follow at your home while you are in the bathroom you should keep the bathroom floor dry otherwise you may slip over there so these are some of the safety rules you should follow at your home now we come to next that is safety at school so children half of the uh, half of the day you spend at your school so there also you should follow some safety rules so what are they first of all you should not push or pull each other while playing in the playground of the school okay and you should not run up and down on the stairs or you should not push anyone on the stairs okay you should not climb on the benches and desks whenever you are in a school so these are some of the safety rules that you should follow in your school now the third is the safety rules at playground and at swimming pool so students whenever you are playing on the playground you should not fight while playing you should not push each other while playing you should not play rough games you should not play with sharp objects okay so these are the things which you should follow when you are on the playground now when you are at swimming pool you should never go to swimming pool without any adult okay and you should never push or pull anyone in the swimming pool otherwise it can cause accidents okay so these are some of the rules that you should follow at playground and swimming pool then safety rules on the road again it is a very important place where we walk so on road also we should follow some safety rules so first of all we should always walk on the footpath okay secondly we should cross the road at zebra crossing and you all might be knowing what is zebra crossing these are the black and white strips you see on the roads at the traffic signals and all so these are meant for crossing the road by the pedestrians pedestrians means the people who uh, walk on the road so you should always cross the road at zebra crossing then you should always follow traffic lights 
you should not run or play on the road so these are some of the safety rules that you should follow when you are on the road now we come to the next topic that is first aid so students we know that we should follow safety rules everywhere and at all the time but still if someone get injured then what you do we try to help him out okay and you also try to help him out so how you will help so it is so the immediate help given to an injured person before the arrival of the doctor is called as first aid so we will help that person by giving him the first aid okay so now you understood what is first aid so now we will discuss first aid which uh, should be given in different cases now as there are different medicines for different type of diseases so similarly there are different types of first aid for different types of injuries that we will discuss now okay so first of all we'll come to first aid for minor cuts and wounds so students whenever there is minor cut or wound so the very first step before giving the first aid in any case is wash your hands properly okay now after washing your hands what you have to do wash the injured uh, portion or wash the wound or cut under running water so that the dirt can be removed from it secondly you should apply some antiseptic lotion like detol sevalon okay and after applying antiseptic you have to tie a bandage or put a bandaid around the wound or over the wound so this way you can give first aid in case of minor cuts and wounds secondly we come to burns now if the injury is in form of burns if someone get burned then what you will do hold the burnt area under the cold running water or you can apply ice pack also then after applying ice pack apply an antiseptic lotion like burnol any antiseptic cream okay then after that if still the burn is severe then you should consult a doctor then thirdly insect bite this is the another case because we are surrounded by many different types of insects in our surroundings so what we have to do in case of uh, if insect sting us then first of all play uh, place a piece of ice over the uh, place where over the wound where insect has bitten us okay then you can apply a paste of baking soda and cold cream okay it will give uh, it will for relief in the pain sensation okay for this you can apply paste of baking soda and cold cream so this way uh, you can give first aid for insect bite now fourthly if someone faints now if someone faints then what type of first aid you should give so first of all when a person faints make him lie down with his head lower than the body now why do we do so so that the blood flow start towards the head part okay now after making this uh, try to make the person comfortable don't crowd around him then uh, sprinkle some water on his face and after that consult a doctor so these are some of the first aid which should be given in different types of injuries now students for giving first aid we should have a first aid box we should have a first aid box now what is this first aid box so first aid box is a box which contains all the necessary things which are required to give a first aid now what are these necessary things so these necessary things are antiseptic now any antiseptic you can keep, uh, keep like detol sevalon then secondly after antiseptic it should be having bandage or a bandaid then a gauze to cover the wound then cotton then a pair of scissors 
to cut the bandage so these are some of the things which have to be kept in the first aid box so students this was all about the explanation part of this chapter now we'll move to the internal questions so let's mark the internal questions so open your books get ready with your pencils let's come to internal questions so first internal question is why should we not run in the house so open page number 40 now in the second paragraph under the heading safety at home the first point of this heading now you have to underline over here do not run in the house you might fall down and get hurt so underline this and so the answer to this is we might fall down and get hurt so you can underline it from here safety at home first point and you can write the question above the paragraph okay now we move to second one which type of clothes catch fire easily again come to page number 40 now under the heading safety in the kitchen last point underline this point it is synthetic clothes catch fire easily so question is which type of clothes catch fire easily answer is synthetic so mark it over here and write the question above the paragraph now we come to third question from where we should cross the road so answer is zebra crossing so come to page number 41 it is under the heading safety on the road second point always cross the road at the zebra crossing so underline the word zebra crossing and write the question above the paragraph so this is all about the internal questions now we come to the book work of this chapter so open your books page number 41 so first exercise is write t for true and f for false statements first we should keep the bathroom floor wet this is a false statement because on wet floor you can slip and get injured okay we should not light the gas stove in the presence of an adult now again this is a false statement because we should light the gas stove only in the presence of an adult okay we should touch electric plugs with wet hands again this is the false statement because if we touch the electric plugs with wet hands we may get electric shock we should not play rough games this is a correct statement we should not fight while playing again this is a correct statement okay now we move to next exercise it is tick the correct answers now this exercise is on page number 44 accidents occur due to carelessness awareness carefulness none of these so the answer is carelessness whenever a person is in hurry or in or careless then accidents may occur what kind of clothes should not be worn in the kitchen cotton nylon jute linen so nylon hair is a synthetic clothes and we clothe and we should not wear synthetic clothes in the kitchen as they catch fire easily the immediate help given to an injured person is called first aid injury second aid third aid so it is the first aid okay a paste of baking soda and cold cream is applied for cut insect bite burn or fainting so it is insect bite in case of insect bite we apply paste of baking soda and cold cream which of the following is not kept in the first aid box cotton scissors gauze or plier so here plier is a tool and it is not used in first aid box now we come to the next exercise it is fill in the blanks with the correct words now here help box is given to you do not play with so we should not play with fire do not crowd around a person who has fainted always walk on the footpath do not play on the road do not touch electric switches with dash hands. So we should not touch electric switches with wet hands. Now we move to next exercise. So students, now let's come to the next exercise. Name the following. First, an antiseptic lotion. So we have to write the name of any antiseptic lotion. You can write Titol, Savalon, 
then the kind of clothes we should not wear while working in the kitchen so the answer is synthetic because synthetic clothes catches fire easily then the place on the road from where we should cross the road so the answer is zebra crossing we should always cross the road from zebra crossing four things which should be kept in a first aid box so these things are bandage cotton wool scissors and an antiseptic lotion these things are to be kept in a first aid box so this was all about exercise number c move to the uh, okay one more exercise is here tick the actions you should follow and cross the ones you should not so let's do this exercise first do not put coins and marbles in your mouth okay so this is the correct statement so we write tick here uh, a tick mark here put your finger into a plug point now this is not a correct statement we should not do this so we'll mark cross over there play with scissors and knives you should not play with pointed objects so again a cross will come do not play with burning matches sticks or candles again this is a correct thing you should not play with burning matches sticks disobey traffic rules again put a cross over here because we should always follow the traffic rules and do not walk on the footpath okay so again this is a wrong statement because we should always walk on the footpath now we come to copy work so let's come to the define so first definition is first aid the immediate help given to an injured person before the doctor's arrival is called first aid accident accident is an unpleasant event that occurs unexpectedly and causes injury now answer the following questions write any three safety rules that should be followed on the road so these safety rules are first of all walk on the footpath cross the road at the zebra crossing and do not walk between the vehicles parked on the road okay then write three safety rules that should be followed at home never open the door for strangers do not take any medicine on your own do not touch electric switches and wires with wet hands otherwise you can get electric shock now what should be done in case of first of all gas leakage so gas leakage do not operate any electric appliance or light the fire window should be open immediately okay whenever there is gas leakage we should not operate any electrical appliance because they may catch fire okay second burn so burns apply cold water or ice pack on the burnt area and then use an antiseptic cream so cold water or ice pack lower the burning sensation and then we can apply antiseptic cream third is insect bite so insect bite place an ice pack or pour cold water on the affected area and apply a paste of baking soda and cold cream so this can be done in case of an insect bite so students this was all about the explanation uh, book work and copy work so this uh, this is the complete revision of both the chapters chapter 3 and chapter 5 i hope you all have understood it well and now if still you have any doubts you can ask in the live doubt session and till then have a nice day stay home stay safe thank you children